Breaking news, Marilee Nichols breaks silence about secret relationship with Tristan Thompson. Welcome back to Bingeworthy Network. This secret Hollywood love affair is finally out in the open. Here is what Marilee Nichols had to say about her relationship with Tristan Thompson and how the NBA player confirmed it all. But before we jump in, hit that like and subscribe button to be notified and updated on the latest Kardashian drama news. Another day, another Tristan Thompson drama. Just when we thought this baby mama drama couldn't get even more scandalous, that is when Khloe Kardashian's ex-boyfriend confirmed the entire secret affair. And we have Marilee Nichols to thank for Tristan's honest confession. Marilee, who is a personal trainer for Texas, sat down with Us Weekly to discuss the details behind her secret relationship with the basketball player. Along with talking about her experience with Tristan, Marilee shocked KEWTK fans with a bit of info about the ongoing paternity lawsuit. Here is how Nicole's broke her silence about her romance with Tristan. Us Weekly shared Marilee's statements and comments. I met Tristan in 2020 at a party at his home in Encino, California. He told me he was single and co-parenting. I would have never gotten involved with Tristan if I thought he was in a relationship. He was not having a sexual relationship with anyone else. The relationship was not casual sex, nor did we have any arrangement. Tristan and I communicated daily and talked on the phone. We would see each other several times a month. I agreed to meet him in Houston at a private party on March the 12th. I never drove a Maserati to meet Tristan, as he claimed. He has never ever been in my vehicle. I used an Uber or was driven by friends that weekend. Houston was one of many nights we spent together. Soon after his birthday weekend in Houston, Tristan invited me to visit him in Boston. I told him the news of my pregnancy in person in North Carolina. Despite the challenges that I know I would have as a single mother and Tristan's reaction to my pregnancy, I told Tristan I would be having the baby. Tristan has not helped me financially with my pregnancy or with our baby. I have paid 100% for my son's expenses. I did not ask Tristan for any money, nor did I accept any money that was offered to me. I did everything possible not to draw attention to my pregnancy and the issues with Tristan. I wanted to keep my pregnancy private and as peaceful as possible. I have never sought media attention for my pregnancy and I wish that I did not even have to send this statement. I did not file any request for child support before our child was born. The case that Tristan brought against me was dismissed on December the 15th, 2021. There was no gag order granted despite his attempt to obtain one. I do not wish to discuss my ongoing California litigation with the media. I am willing to waive any confidentiality for any reporter who has written about this litigation so that they can affirmatively state whether or not I provided them with copies of any litigation, text messages, or photographs. I challenged Tristan and his team to do the same. I'm not afraid of having a reporter reveal their source for the stories they are writing about me and this litigation because I know for a fact it was not me or anyone employed by me. Instead of focusing on any negativity, I am choosing to embrace being a mother and doing the best I can do for my son. I do not want any further media attention, nor do I want a romantic relationship with Tristan. My goal is to raise our son in a safe, healthy, loving, and private environment. Now, as you can see, Marilee laid out everything on the table. Along with confirming how her relationship with Tristan Thompson started, the personal trainer also went on to talk about the legal issues surrounding the birth of her son. But Marilee is not the only one who had details to spill about the Hollywood romance that was going on behind the scenes. In court documents obtained by Daily Mail UK, Tristan himself confirms his relations with the Texas native. According to the NBA player, he was still with Chloe when his romance with Marilee started. But how did the two manage to go on to be so secret for so long? Thanks to the social media app Snapchat, Marilee and Tristan managed to hide their entire fling before Nicole's announced her pregnancy to the world. Thompson states in the court documents, Contrary to petitioners' many inferences in a declaration, we did not have a serious ongoing relationship. We saw each other sporadically between December 2020 and March the 13th, 2021 and did not have sexual intercourse in California during that time. Petitioner told me that she had been involved with other athletes and understood the limitations of our relationship to wit, that we might see each other on a sporadic basis for consensual, casual sex only. From December 2020 through March 2021, we saw each other on such a basis. We never had any telephone calls, emails, nor did we exchange text messages. We only communicated via the Snapchat application. 
She came to my LA home on maybe two occasions, but cannot recall ever having sex with her in California. I only recall that Petitioner and I had sexual relations in March of 2021, and at no other time in 2021. Petitioner constantly used the term hookup to describe our relationship, which was the reality. I am certain that if the child is deemed to be my child, that the only date of conception was March the 13th, 2021, because it was my birthday. Although Petitioner has set forth virtually every date that she contends we had sexual relations, the only date that she cannot remember having sex is on March the 13th, 2021, my birthday, in Houston, which is the only date that conception could have taken place, leading to a delivery on December the 1st, 2021. As I stated, our relationship was based on sex. We would not have seen each other in Houston if we were not going to have sex. We did not have any dates in the traditional sense at any time. There were no dining at restaurants, going to movies, traveling, or any other indication of a normal relationship. There was only Snapchats of where and what time we would hook up and what hotels would be used. We only communicated via the Snapchat application. My username on Snapchat has always been BlackJesus00. After a Snapchat message, the message is automatically deleted. If either one of us would do something to try and save the message, the other party would be notified. I was never notified that Petitioner saved a message from me. Petitioner never confirmed that I was notified of her retaining messages. Wow, safe to say that this is one of the most revealing Hollywood romances of the 21st century. We can't help but be stunned by all the details spilled by both Marilee and Tristan. While the NBA player wouldn't voluntarily offer up his love affairs to the public, Thompson was forced to state the truth after facing a paternity battle with the personal trainer. The drama started when Thompson refused to help Marilee on a long-term basis and demanded she get an abortion. Not only did the NBA player demand the termination of the pregnancy, but Chloe's ex-boyfriend even gave his trainer $75,000 to stay quiet. Marilee shared personal messages between her and Tristan to the court where the topic of the pregnancy is discussed. As shared by the magazine tabloid, Tristan demanded a paternity test to be performed back in July of 2021, and Nicole's legal team. As Page Six exclusively reported, Thompson allegedly wanted Nicole to get an abortion when she found out she was pregnant. He also demanded in July that she take a paternity test. As of November the 15th, she had not taken a test, but in a subsequent filing, he said he would pay child support if the child is his. Another filing notes that genetic testing can only be done once the baby is born. Marilee has received numerous electronic messages, such as Snapchats and other electronic communications from Tristan Thompson, which he now apparently denies sending, despite the fact that his contact information is present in the messages. It is also apparent from the context and substance of these communications that they are from Tristan to Marilee, which reflects that Tristan is addressing the party's relationship, and even with respect to her pregnancy, insisting that she get an abortion and threatening that she will get next to nothing with lesser support requirements in Texas. As for the text messages, here is what Khloe Kardashian's ex demanded from his new fling. You know how I feel. My feelings haven't changed at all. I won't be involved at all. By the way, if you think having this baby is going to make you some money, it's completely wrong. You are aware that I'm retiring after this season, so in terms of support, it will be whatever is required monthly for someone who's unemployed. So you're better off taking this 75k I'm offering you, because you won't get nothing near that having a kid with a father who's unemployed. All you will have is a baby with a father who has zero involvement with a child and a few hundred dollars of child support a month. And just like that, the Boston Celtics basketball player became a father of three. We can't help but wonder how Kris Jenner is handling all this baby mama drama, as there are no keeping up with the Kardashians' cameras to capture the shock and entertainment. But what do you think about Tristan Thompson and Marilee Nicole's secret love affair? Were you shocked to hear Marilee's statements to Us Weekly? Should Chloe ever forgive Tristan? Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and give us a like. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications and share this video with your friends. Goodbye, everyone.